when planning to pursue any higher educational degree we usually have four questions on our mind number 1 how is this program going to benefit me number 2 which are the institutes which offer this program number 3 what kind of preparation is required for this program and number 4 what is the financial cost of pursuing this program as your phd mentor i dr ritika gaba on this youtube channel have addressed first three questions quite a few times for example just very recently we had discussed in detail the five benefits of pursuing a phd when it comes to the institutes where you can pursue a phd we have given you in detail description about iit bombay delhi kanpur bhu iims goa institute of management and isb and so on when it comes to the preparation part then again we have shared a number of videos like we shared videos on ugc net inspire fellowship pmrf we've also told you about the difference between a part time and a full time phd we have also shared in detail a video on sop and research proposal however there is this fourth aspect this fourth question which we have not touched at all in any of our videos or shorts so this video is an attempt to give you a glimpse of the financial liability or the financial cost that a phd involves so in case you also want to know about this aspect of phd then stay tuned with me your one and only phd mentor advisor and trainer one major reason why i never dealt with the financial expenses or the fee structure of phd in our country is because of the large variation that exists among various universities and courses when it comes to the fees and expenses of pursuing this course the variation is so much that there is a program which is charging no fees for imparting phd education and there is also another program which is charging a fee of 50 lakh rupees yes that's the kind of variation that exists so in this video also uh i have decided to tell you broadly category wise the fees which is charged on an average by different categories of universities so let us start by discussing what would you have to pay as your phd fee and other expenses if you want to pursue a phd from iits so all the iits on an average would be charging somewhere around 5 to 6 lakhs both from their full time and part time scholars however the full time scholars majority of them are entitled for a fellowship when they are pursuing a phd from iit in that case definitely your fellowship will help you to overcome some part of your financial fee expense however if in case you are not having any fellowship or you are a part time phd candidate then this is the amount which you should be ready to spend to pursue a phd from an iit moving on to the other popular category of uh, institute which is iims indian institute of management uh, iim offers both part time and full time phd but unlike the iits there is a large difference in the fee structure of full time and part time students in an iims iim is one of the very few institute all the iims are just one of the few category of institutes which do not charge any fee from their full time scholars so you will be paying zero amount of money to pursue a full time phd from iims however if you want to pursue a part time phd or an executive phd from this this institute then you might have to spend around 10 lakh rupees to pursue a phd for a period of 5 years however this high amount of 10 lakh 
is usually charged by uh, the older IMs like IMs Kozikode or Shillong or Lucknow. The smaller, the younger IMs who are offering a part-time PhD will charge you around 5 to 6 lakhs uh, PhD fees. Okay, from IIMs, now let us move on to the private and the deemed university. From the point of view of student, private and deemed university fee structure is almost the same. Uh, again, they are very similar to what IITs charge, 50,000 a semester on an average. So again, you will be spending around 5 to 6 lakhs. I am increasing the fee to a, a higher amount because many times an institute will ask you to pay uh, admission fee or one time library fee or when you are submitting your thesis then also you have to sometimes pay a fee, evaluation fees. So if I include everything on an average even in a private and a deemed university you would be spending a similar amount as that of an IIT. If in case this sounds to be too exorbitant for you, then we have yet another category which is actually the largest percentage of universities in India that is state universities and central universities. Being government uh, universities, both central and state universities are quite economical to pursue a PhD. Uh, in fact, central universities, some of the central universities are so economical that you might just have to sp uh, spend a few thousand rupees, maybe 25 to 50,000 rupees for a period of five years and your PhD will be all done. Uh, but on an average, uh, central and state university, you will have to spend around 1 to 2 lakh rupees and your PhD can be completed including all expenses from these state and central universities. So after a detailed discussion about the various degree granting institutes in India, let us move on to understand what is the fee structure of FPM or fellow program in management. Here's the video which we had shared earlier where we had told you the difference between FPM and PhD. So, uh, one of the most popular institute on which offers a FPM program is ISB. Again, a video on ISB has been shared earlier. So, ISB also is the institute which has the maximum fee variation when it comes to their part-time scholars and their full-time scholars. The full-time FPM students by ISB are charged no fee. However, their executive PhD students are charged a fee of 50 lakh rupees. From another institute which is quite popular is XLRI. Again, XLRI also does not ask for any fee from their full-time uh, students. And from their part-time students, they do ask a fee of rupees 10 to 11 lakh rupees. There is another FPM institute which we have all earlier also discussed with you all which is Goa Institute of Management. Goa Institute of Management is also very well known for its FPM program and this institute only offers a full time PhD and charges an extremely nominal fee of just 10,000 rupees for a period of 5 years or four years depending on when you complete your PhD but yes for the entire duration 10,000 rupees is the only fee which it charges. To conclude if you are ready to spend around five to six lakh rupees then majority universities would fall under your budget. If you have a close look about the expenses of PhD and compare it with the two-year, one-year executive programs which are usually offered or even the full-time programs which are offered by the tier one, tier two uh, universities, you would find that the PhD program is much more subsidized. So in case you are confused between uh, other degree programs and PhD, then at least on the basis of financial expense, PhD should be your first choice. Remember the details that we've shared in this video are only averages and in any category you might find a university which is charging more or less than this average. 
This is all about the financial expense which we have shared with you. Since it is again a very complicated area, I have tried my level best to give you an overview with genuine and well researched information. Till we meet next time, keep watching our videos, stay informed, stay empowered.